Crystal Palace nil, Southampton 2. Saints laid the smackdown. This was a pair of pile drivers. So from the start then, two changes. Vestergaard and Obafemi for Bednar and Ings. And Ralph admitted uh, in his pre-match interview that he didn't want to risk Ings. And of course, uh, Bednar out with this week uh, with an Achilles injury. Some already wrote off Vestergaard before he even kicked the ball this evening without even giving him a chance. Uh, I've got to say, though, I think he was great tonight, actually. Uh, made a lot of important blocks, some clearances, getting in amongst it, getting in front of the man to to clear the ball. He was brave against the, the, the attackers and he wasn't afraid to dig in and wrestle amongst it. But Saints, I think, as a unit tonight, showcased a real intensity from the first round. And I think, you know, we deservedly took the lead. Uh, we showed some fluid football. Uh, Redmond with an absolute stunner to open the account for the evening. A strike from the edge of the box. And this all started with a cute little ball from Jack Stevens, chipping it over the uh, the defence from Crystal Palace. And this has started to become a bit of a trademark move for, uh, for Jack Stevens. Another clean sheet for him tonight. Another assist to... But uh, Redmond traps his ball down, uh, cuts across the defender, pings it across the goalkeeper, goes into the top corner, uh, pick that out. Palace already on the ropes and it's just sweeter when a strike like that rattles the frame on its way in and it just silences the home crowd. Although some concerns a little while after, as Cedric went off injured, uh, but Ward-Prowse... He was tagged in at right back uh, to get in amongst uh, and under Zaha's skin again. And quite predictably, he was rattled. Uh, and somehow goes unpunished for a kind of poke come shove in the face as they were leaving the field before half time. Already in his pocket, Prousey playing the puppet master. And it was an explosive uh, way to start the second half. Armstrong adds to his tally for the season. Double Saints lead with an absolute belter. This time provided by Redmond. Lays it off to Armstrong. Invites him to shoot from 20 odd yards. He strikes it. Curls past the keeper. And at what point can we start inheriting and singing his Celtic song? But there was no pressure from Palace this evening. In, const in contrast, there was constant pressure from Saints. It uh, didn't allow Palace to get into any sort of rhythm and we were in complete control from the first minute, minute to the last. Uh, Long, he had a golden opportunity though to make it 3-0 and to knock Palace out for the count, uh, but for his lightweight shot, which slipped straight down uh, the keeper's throat. I mean, luckily, Palace, they hardly laid a glove. Uh, Saints and McCarthy... Didn't even have to make a save tonight, but this was a Saints side tonight uh, showcasing real cohesion, a commitment from the very first whistle. And this is a Saints side now that's forging their own new identity, a brave, aggressive against the ball. Uh, and with the ball, you know, a team playing with confidence, uh, a team that was rock bottom in October. But now we look like uh, the nastier alter ego. And this is a team now playing with energy, working hard for one another, a determination to never give up. But I think the man of the match has to be the key man. Uh, it was Nathan Redmond tonight. He was the main event. Uh, he was sharp as a knife, sliced uh, Crystal Palace open a, a number of times. He beat uh, a lot of the players. He decided when he uh, chose his right ch opportunity to get the shot away. He knew when to release the ball. You know, questions uh, this season uh, about how, how long he was hanging on to the ball to release it. And he knew when to pull the trigger to challenge the goalkeeper this evening. Had it not been for Redmond tonight, perhaps Saints couldn't have landed uh, the knockout. But the bottom line is then Saints uh, now ninth in the Premier League into the top half, four places gained, four away wins in a row. And this, uh, well, last weekend, the Wolves defeat just feels like a mere memory. So let me know how you think about tonight's victory. Let me know in the comments and up the Saints.